Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top order trading with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about GBP USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COD data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're shifting their orders. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can notice is that at the moment the market is testing and rejecting to the upside a quite strong historical monthly support and demand area. From here, multiple rejections to the upside have been created every single time that the market tests this zone, it rejected it to the upside quite aggressively. And we can notice how the market has just started rejecting to the upside this exact same level. So more bullish price action could be expected away from this area. As already happened in the past every time that the market tested this exact same level so from a monthly standpoint everything seems quite bullish we can also notice if we drop to a, the most recent price action so essentially this one here we can notice how the market has been creating a series of higher lows and now also a series of higher highs so it seems like the market is now shifting back to a bullish trend with the creation of higher highs and higher lows Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, from a weekly perspective, the situation is quite clear. We can notice a uh, first impulse to the upside, correction, another impulse to the upside, correction, another impulse to the upside, and now a new correction. Now, as for the previous ones, if we want to measure also this new correction, we have to take a Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg, and this will show us that now we are in the last retracement level. So essentially we are in between the 0.618 and 0.786 Fibonacci retracements, which in this particular case are also lining up with this previous level of horizontal resistance from which the previous correction started, which now that the market has broken into the upside is turned support. So now we're actually testing confluence of support from which there is a good probability of seeing a potential rejection to the upside being developed. So the weekly time frame as well does seem quite bullish. Now let's keep that in mind and drop down on the daily time frame. Now from a daily perspective the problem is that the structure is currently bearish. In fact what we can notice is that the market has created a series of lower lows and lower highs here from a daily standpoint therefore clearly establishing a bearish trend when it comes to the daily time frame. Until the market will remain below this previous resistance zone this market can easily continue lower. So what we would actually need is a potential break above this zone. Only if we get a break above this area, only at that point, the structure from a daily perspective would be again bullish. And only at that point, there could be bo more bullish continuation. Because as we were saying, until the market will remain below this area, this market can easily continue lower and break all the support from a weekly standpoint. However, if and only if we get a break above this zone at that point the monthly weekly and daily time frames would all be aligning to the bullish side and on the retest of this previous resistance turn support this is where we have the probabilities of seeing good institutional longing at that point potentially making the market create this rejection to the upside speaking about institutional longing if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders so what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and we check the data precisely for the gbp we can notice how with the last reports we have seen a massive increase of the net positions. We went from having a negative net positioning of minus 28.9k net positions, so situations where we had more shorts than longs, 72k shorts compared to only 43k longs, all the way up to now having a massively positive net positioning with 111.4k net positions with way more longs than shorts, 165k longs compared to only 54k shorts. So GBPUSD 
has gotten quite strong with the last reports. And I say GBP USD because all currencies are traded against the USD. So if we're looking at the GBP already, it is GBP USD. And clearly institutions have been decreasing their shorts that went from 74K down to 54K and increasing their longs that went from 43K all the way up to 165k so keeping this in mind let's move back to the chart and by the way if you still haven't make sure that you join my free telegram channel which you find both on the screen and also linked in description so you never miss new updates now back to the analysis well from a daily standpoint if the market will now go and retrace to this area what would I expect? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes. So for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the upside, completing this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. That definitely wouldn't surprise me. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to my entire all-inclusive mentorship program. This is the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program. You will see here a complete presentation of everything included, which is essentially all my courses, including the programming course on automated algorithmic trading. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, all included in the mentorship program, the trading station software with the Telegram signals notification, and also the COT data software, which is essentially the one that we just used in this analysis. So everything all for lifetime access. And if you continue to scroll down, you will see that you will have the possibility after the testimonials to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest at least to go and check it out at transparentfxtrading.com. You find the link also in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I'll see you in my next breakdown.